the best seafood restaurant that I have found is very near Provo. It's right at the University Mall, right behind Trader Joe's. It's called Kick and Seafood. Kick and Seafood is so good. And the customer service is amazing. The decor and the atmosphere is also amazing. It's very casual, but they really think about the customer. So like the food is brought to you like in the boil in the bag. You can get other things like lobster sandwiches and other things, French fries, the regular kind of American fare. But to the Cajun style seafood in boiled in the bag is the best that I've had in Utah. If you order the boiled in the bag, you can have different styles, different kind of varieties of different foods that you want in it. They do put sausage and potatoes and the different seafoods. We eat there quite often because it is that good. You have four boiled bags to choose from, and then you can also customize the ones that you get. The first time we went, it was, it's a little bit expensive if you each order a bag, but if you order the bigger bag, it's, I think the last time we went, it was like $95 for a bag that fed four people. So that was a really good way to do it. You can order white rice on the side. You can add extra spa spicy Cajun sauce in the bag. We also love the Dungeness crab. It's, in my opinion, Dungeness crab is the best crab in the world. It's the best tasting one. You can only get it really on the West Coast. It's usually you get it in San Francisco. That's where I grew up eating it. But there's a lot of different places that'll ship it and freeze it and then send it to you overnight. I did ask the manager of Kick and Seafood how fresh their seafood is. And they do have it shipped in daily and it is fresh. And then they have their frozen ones as well. So this is really good to know for the quality is really there. A lot of my sons love crawfish and I like the shrimp. We all like the crab. So we try to get the bag that has all of those things in it. And I will tell you the 78 to $95 bags will easily feed three to four people. You won't need more than that. It gives you corn in there and the sausage and round red potatoes. It's And they're all boiled in the same bag. It, it's so yummy. If you go for lunch and you don't want to have the seafood boil, you can have a poor boy sandwich. They have a shrimp one, and then they have calamari, and they have some other yummy tasting foods. You do get messy. They give you the bibs that you put on, and the metal container, and the crab crackers, whatever you call those things that you crack your crab with. They give you lots of napkins. And what I really like is that the, they have set up a whole station outside of the restroom, so you don't have to take your dirty hand and open the handle to a restroom. They actually have the cleaning stations for your hands right there out where all the tables are. And that is so smart. So you can go over there, wash your hands, get all cleaned up, then go use the restroom. Or before you leave the restaurant, you can go get all cleaned up. And that was, I just thought was really great because you're handling the crawfish, you're handling the crab and everything with your fingers. They are located at 435 East, 1150 South in Orem. Like I said, it's right behind Trader Joe's and then there's a Wells Fargo bank right there and it's right across from there. Please check our website at movetoprovoutah.com so you can get the hours and there's links to their menu. Their menu is listed on our website as well. And I do a full review on the website. They do have a kid's menu. It's very casual dining and you don't need a reservation if you're going early, but I would say that if you're going later in the evening, regular dinner time, seven o'clock-ish, I would highly recommend that you get a reservation. Uh, you can go to their Facebook page, which is Kickin' Seafood Orem, to hook up with them and follow them on Facebook. But I would love it if you'd go to my website and read the article and see the full menu there and look around the website. We have a list of all the events going on in Provo. We have a whole review page on all of the different restaurants that I go to so that when you move to Utah and you don't know where to eat, that I'm giving you all of the suggestions of places that we have tried and liked, or maybe not so much. So pretty honest with my reviews. So that would be great if you would go there and looking forward to seeing you on the next video.